I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. spend the whole day looking out the window. Why don't you find something to do? Come on, honey, I gotta get dinner ready. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I just wanted, just wanted a hug. All better now? Okay, I gotta get back to work, honey. Can I have a cookie? It's almost dinner time, sweetheart. If you eat a cookie now, you won't eat your dinner. Fairy Blossom, do you want to come over to my house for tea? Oh, yes, I'd love to. Okie dokie, we'll go in my car. I love your car. Yeah, I chose it myself, and it goes really, really fast. Wait. 
What a beautiful house you have. Yes, I love it a lot. My husband gave it to me for my birthday. Would you like some sugar in your tea, Fairy Blossom? Oh, no, thanks. And how is your husband? He's good. He's working. Why, he's so handsome. Stop that, I didn't. I told you I didn't want to play with you anymore. We messed with her stuff. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. This weather is terrible. All this snow? I hope it'll end up soon. Kids are so difficult when they can't go outside. I didn't stop that. Please, Jody, I'm working. Jody, honey, would you do me a favor? Could you get me a bottle of oil from the garage? Uh, sure, no problem. It's the light bulb, sweetheart. I've asked your father to change that a million times. I saw something there, Mommy. You must have just imagined it. There's nothing. Look. Uh, 
You know, sometimes adults imagine things too. It's okay. Hey, sweetheart. Why don't you go outside and play? I'll call you when dinner's ready. I'm going. Great, now I can be bored and freezing. But you don't care, do you, Aiden? You never get cold. Gotcha! Ow! I think I just found a way to have some fun. I'm gonna make you pay for that. Take that. <laughs> okay, I know we're not supposed to. Come on, we'll just play for five minutes and come back. Mom will never know. <laughs> you can at least give me a hand, Aiden. Stop! Stop! Aiden, you're the best. Hey, Joe, do you want to play with us? Come on, hurry up and hide then. You're going to get cream. I give up, I give up, okay? I surrender. Take that. What were you doing in the street? You know you're not allowed to leave the yard! I saw the other kids playing. I, I just wanted to have some fun. What did you do to that boy? Philip. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. He was trying to defend me. He thought... I'm sick and tired of your stories! Jody, this time you're really gonna get it! No! You go to your room. Now! Try to get some sleep, sweetheart. Everything will be better in the morning, okay? Night night. Mommy! I'm afraid of the monsters, Mommy. They're gonna get me. And you know monsters don't exist. But I'll leave the light on and the door open, okay? Get some sleep, sweetie. Go away! I hate you! It's your fault my parents. 
Karen still let me. You hear me? Go away! You shouldn't get so angry with her, Philip. She's just a little girl. Little girl? You've seen what you can do, right? <gasps> Susan, that's no little girl. That's... Susan, that's a monster. Don't you dare talk about her like that! The things that are happening around her, they're not normal. And they're getting stronger, for the love of God. Susan, what's to stop her from turning on us? Oh, don't be ridiculous! Susan, that thing is like an uncontrollable animal. We have no idea what it's capable of. We have a demon living with us right under our own roof. Susan, this is going to stop. And it's going to stop now, before we end up crazy or dead. We agreed to look after a little girl, Susan, but not this. Not this. So cut it out! He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of me from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Go on, hurry up. I'll be right here, sweetheart. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. You like it? You can have it if you want. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. I can understand if you don't want to talk about it. But if you did, I could help you figure it out. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him for me?
Mind if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? You tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave, too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No, that was the monsters. It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see. Time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. It's hard leaving your home and your family. But here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay. Good night, Jody. All right. Find somewhere to change. They haven't put cameras in here, too. Come on, Bunny Graf. Let's see where we're going to sleep tonight.
I'm gonna turn out the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait. Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep, and nothing is gonna happen. I can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear. Darling, I know this is difficult. I'm 
Give me a minute, Philip. That's enough. Come on. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card. Next card. Next card. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? in the room you can move?
over, Jody. It's over. It's over. It will never be over. I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Jody? Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. Nathan, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody.
Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? May you get some sleep. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. Don't be sad, Daddy. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not gonna back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress, stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Colin. Oh, don't forget your present. 
It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school in the store for you guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Hey, everyone. This is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with Mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department. Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Woo! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Garbage is that. Slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Mom doesn't even go into my room anymore. She's totally oblivious. Kirsten, you're a genius. Yeah, do you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. Choke on it. I bet it's your first time. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have. Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't do classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. Right. Because I sure do remember fighting you around before. <laughs> so you work with Kirsten's mother? I've never met Kirsten before. Her mom works in my unit, and that's why I was invited. I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York. Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. You were, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read. I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Oh, slow downs. Are you, you up for it? Sure. You know, 
I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. Do you say that to all the girls you meet? <laughs> you're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I think you're pretty special, too. Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, no, idea. no, no. I, I'd pay to see that. Uh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? No, no. I, I, I don't. I don't have anything to show. I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right. Okay, guys. It's time to eat that delicious cake, and most important, to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. Begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut, too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> Please! Stop! Oh, Stop. mistress of the obscure go. darkness! Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> please! Please, let me Mom, out! The first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please, <laughs> let me out! Please! Did someone say Kate? Please! Yeah, I want to get out! Please! Fun. I want to get out! I'm bad! Yeah, you please let me out! <laughs> get me out of here! Well, 
done. Very funny, Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. <laughs> Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> the door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. <laughs> <laughs> Windows, try the windows. They're locked! Guys, this is a joke. It's really not funny. Ah! You're not forget your stupid tricks, Jody. Hear me? Let it out! Ah. 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 Did that. What the fuck is going on? Fuck! 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 Ah. Did you see anything? Help. I'm not staying here. <laughs> Help! 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 I'm not staying here. Ah! Ah! Enough, Ida. I think they got the message. Come on, let's go. What are you doing, Ida? You're going too far. You've got to stop. We've got to get out. Let's go home. <laughs>